Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This uh, video is on the request of a student and here we will be learning how to plot current curves uh, if voltage curves uh, are given for capacitor and uh, primarily we will be solving end chapter problems question number 6.5, 6.6 and 6.10 start uh, and I hope you recall that the capacitor current is given by I is equal to C dV dt and the capacitor voltage is given by integral 1C, uh, 1C integral I dt plus constant V naught. Okay, so let's concentrate on the first question. The voltage across a 4 microfarad capacitor is shown in figure find the current waveform. So the first step is to write the voltage waveform and then we will uh, find the current waveform or plot the current waveform. Now if you recall from your uh, FSC education uh, this equation of a straight line is given like this y is equal to mx plus c where m is the slope and slope is written like this y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 and uh, I have uh, explained this in details in my uh, video from uh, for chapter 1 uh, so if you want to learn more you should go back and refer to that but here also I will try to explain the this line here this is the starting point so this is y1 and this is y2 similarly this point is x1 and this is x2 so in the numerator it will be 10 this is y2 is 10 10 minus 0 so it is equal to 10 and similarly x2 is 2 and x1 is 0 so 2 minus 0 is actually 2 and this is millisecond so 10 raised to the power minus 3 this should have been up here anyway so when we divide the slope is 5 into 10 raised to the power minus, uh, 3 now this slope is for this line only but since the other line also have same distance that means the 2 difference of 2 in the x axis and difference of 10 in the y axis then the slope will also be same but this slope is going up so this is called positive going slope this is going down therefore this will be called negative going slope so we'll write negative minus 5 into 10 to the power 3 uh, m in this case and in this case also it is now going up so this will also be positive slope so with this in mind now let's proceed the first line that is from 0 to 2 0 to 2 this is the line and this line equation will be if we put here m in case of uh, in our case x is t so mt that is 5 into 10 raised to the power 3 multiplied by t what about c in this case it is intercepting at 0 therefore c is 0 so we don't write so this is the line equation uh, for the first line equation then the second line from 2 to 6 2 to 6 has the same slope from here to here and as I mentioned it is negative going slope but if you calculate the slope it will be same value with negative sign so it is minus 5 in 10 raised to the power 3 t plus a constant uh, c1 now even if you don't calculate the value of c1 uh, in the subsequent answer will get the correct answer but it is nice to know what is c1 and the easiest way to do is that you take this point in anywhere on this line and it is better that we take the point when the voltage is 0 so that means this is 0 t is 4 so if you put t is equal to 4 
then this will be uh, uh, 4 milli t is equal to 4 milli so 4 and 5 will be 20 and kilo and milli will get cancelled therefore c1 will be equal to 20 this will come on this side so here we put 20 and similarly for this one also this is a positive slope so we write this positive slope and another uh, constant c2 and same way you can find the value of c2 if you just take this point uh, and put uh, v is equal to 0 time is 8 milli so time is 8 milli so 8 5 is a 40 and milli kilo cancels so 40 and when this goes on the left hand side so c2 will be minus 40 so we put this so this is the uh, equation of voltage and now this just explains how we got this so you know as I told that for t you put either 6 or 8 this is this should be 8 okay this is 6 has been taken at this point doesn't matter so here the value is minus 10 so we put minus 10 time is 6 so we put 6 milli you get the same answer c2 is equal to minus 40 so anywhere you take either you take the value at t is equal to 6 or you take the value as t is equal to 8 it is generally preferred that when the voltage is 0 you take that point but irrespective anyway now we come to the calculation of current so we know i is c dv dt the value of c is 4 microfarad so 4 into 10 raised to the power minus 6 into dv dt so now we have to differentiate all these values so 4 into 10 raised to the power 6 and differentiation of the first one will give 5 10 raised to the power 3 and differentiation of t is 1 so this is the value for the first similarly here you will get minus 5 10 raised to the power 3 and differentiation of t is 1 also here so and the differentiation of constant will be 0 so that is why I was saying that whether you calculate this or you keep as c1 it doesn't matter when you differentiate the value will be 0 so anyway and this is 0 similarly here if you differentiate this it will be 5 into 10 raised to the power 3 and now if we multiply this then here we get 20 milliampere 10 raised to the power 6 and 10 raised to the power 3 so 10 we get minus 10 raised to the power 3 and 5 4 is 20 so 20 milliampere minus 20 milliampere for this and plus 20 milliampere for the third one and now we can very easily plot so the plot will be like this for the first 0 to 2 20 milliampere 20 milliampere then 2 to 6 minus 20 milliampere and 6 to 8 20 milliampere so this is how you plot and just to beautify uh, you can add the vertical line so you can just add the vertical line so it looks good so this is how you plot uh, the current waveform so if you remember or if you understand this technique you can solve all the subsequent problems so let's see the next one now here you can see it is almost similar except for this portion here it is flat so we'll just follow the same technique capacitor value is 55 microfarad so we we calculate the slope the value is 10 here and the time is 2 milli so 10 divided by 2 milli is 5 into 10 raised to the power 3 is the slope and as we did in the previous case this is going up so the slope will be slope of a straight line so 5 into 10 raised to the power 3 m into t this is constant there is no slope therefore the first part will be 0 and the constant will be equal to 10 so this is constant 10 for 2 to 4 this is again that negative goings 
and same slope you can see the difference y is 10 and in the x-axis it is 2 so we get the same slope minus 5 10 to the power 3t plus c1 and here also we can find the value of c1 if you want by putting let's say here it is 0 6 voltage is 0 for t6 so 0 if you put t 6 milli then there this will be minus 30 and when we go on the left hand side therefore c1 will be plus 30 so we put plus 30 here the next is again negative a constant a straight line so it is negative 10 negative 10 no slope here so this part is zero only we get this part and then this is again that positive going slope so positive going slope 5 10 to the power 3t and the constant c2 this constant you can also find by putting the value let's say here it is zero so if you put it zero 12 uh, and put it uh, here 12 milliseconds so 12 5 is 60 so c2 will be and moves on this side minus 60 so we put 60 so we got the voltages and now we follow this pattern i is equal to cv dt dt now this is a 5, 55 microfarad then dv dt and we differentiate all of this this is slope t so it will just become the value 5 into 10 is to the power 3 and differentiation of t will be 1 this is constant so differentiation will be 0 here also the differentiation will be minus 5 10 to the power 3 and differentiation of t is 1 this is constant so 0 and this is also 5 into 10 to the power minus uh, 10 to the power 3 and now we multiply so multiplying we get these values 275 0 minus 275 0 and plus 275 and we can plot as before so this is the plot 275 then we have 0 then we have minus 275 0 and 275 and here also to beautify you can add the vertical lines so this adding the vertical line this will look like this and the last question okay let's come to the final question 6.10 here and this is the graph for voltage given so you can see this uh, line has a slope this is just constant straight line and this has a negative slope so let's write the voltages slope m we have to calculate so just we calculate here the same here and here except with the negative sign so the 16 is the y axis and x axis is 1 minus 0 so it is 1 into 10 raised to the power minus 6 because t axis or time axis is in microsecond and so m will be 16 into uh, 10 raised to the power 6 and now we write the voltages equation this one will be mt so 16 into 10 raised to the power 60 this is constant line here from 1 to 3 so for 1 to 3 it is 16 and this is negative line with point of intersection somewhere in the top so we just write it minus 16 10 raised to the power 60 plus c1 and we can find the value of c1 if we take any point between 3 and 4 I will take this point here here voltage is 0 current time is 4 so voltage 0 time is 4 microsecond so micro and 10 to the power 6 will cancel and 4 and 16 64 so minus 64 plus C1 therefore C1 will be when this goes on the left hand side plus 64 so we put that value here plus 64 and now we'll uh, to find current we'll write this formula 5 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 this is the value of the capacitor and dv dt and so let's write all the current equations so this is the capacitor value differentiation of this t will become 1 so 6 16 16 10 raised to the power 6 this will be constant so differentiation will be 0 and here also uh, t differentiation will be 1 that is minus 16 10 raised to the power 6 and differentiation of 64 will also be 
zero. So this is the uh, three current equations. Now we multiply the two values. So this will be you can see 16 5 is a, um, 80 and 10 raised to the power 3 minus 3 and 10 raised to the power plus 3 will result in uh, plus 6 will result in 10 raised to the power 3 so we write that as kilo so 18 kilo ampere then 0 and for this it will be minus 80 kilo ampere and we can now uh, plot as we have done before so 80 kilo this range is 0 and this is minus 80 kilo ampere so I hope this gives you an understanding how to solve this type of a question. Please like my video if you feel. Thank you.